Oh my god, I'm going to Morb. They finally did it. They updated it. The only game where you can be a single-celled organism. That's actually not true. There's a couple of games where you can do that. But now the only game where you can go into a multi-celled organism, or so I have heard. Now we're just gonna do everything. Everything normal. Cool. Let's go ahead and hit confirm. They've added more options, obviously, in the menus. They've added a lot of new parts, but let me give you a background if you don't know what Thrive is. It's a game made by a bunch of guys who basically went, wow, Spore, good game, but they could have done better. Um, Thrive kind of focuses on being realistic, and um, they're trying to basically make a game where you can, you know, start as a single-celled organism and end up as a full-on creature. I don't know how far they intend to go with it, but... Uh, yeah, they, they've done really well. I've been playing for a while since they're like super, super baby project. They've switched engines. They've done a lot of stuff to improve. So as you can see, I'm a single cell, just like in real life. Um, about the same intelligence. Okay, what, what is that, a Easter egg? <laughs> that is such an awesome Easter egg. There is just like a dead spore cell. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That is hilarious. I love that they added that. Are all of the dead cells like sport? No, I've never seen one of those before. That's that's gotta just be an Easter egg that's there. That's great. I like that. Um, that's fantastic. I've never seen that before. That was perfect for the video. So they also have a good sense of humor with Zelda development. I like that. All right. So basically what we have to do to uh, evolve is we have to just get compounds. I mean, we have no organelles or anything yet. We're literally just kind of a membrane going insane in the membrane over here. Uh, and we have to evolve, which means we need to get yummy phosphates and ammonia and just grow. Uh, we're burning glucose to make ATP for energy. Uh, and if we run out of glucose, we will die. Now we will have options to go ahead and use other ways to create energy, but I'm going to kind of speed run this. I did a test run to see how long it took to get multicellular and it took about an hour. Uh, so we're gonna try to speed that up a little bit. So if you want to go quickly, your best bet is probably to try to get to a nucleus as quickly as possible. Uh, and we're going to try to do that. So we're going to increase the amount of metabolisms we have um, a little bit so that we make a lot more energy than we need. Uh, and then we're going to get a flagellum so that we can move faster. Uh, that's the first thing I'm going to do because being able to move faster increases your ability to get resources. Uh, now, of course, we are burning our resources far faster now because we are, you know using that energy to propel ourselves, but I'm not too concerned. I'm a little speedy boy. Um, I don't want any comparisons drawn to real life cells that kind of look like this because y you're all naughty. Anyways, we gotta kind of wait for this bar to go up to evolve. So look, our there's so many of our friends, our brethren, where we're doing well, our, our species is growing and we are super fast. Once you get kind of crazy and have 82 different things your cell is doing, you're using a lot of uh, energy just to keep all of those different things running and you aren't necessarily using all of them at the same time. So really this game is all about balance and we're being eaten. We are being eaten. Oh my God. Oh shoot, we are going to die. I didn't realize I'd be eaten that quickly. Um, so yeah, I was eaten by another cell. The other cells in the game are evolving alongside you, so you have to kind of be careful. Um, they can give you a bad day. And it looks like we have a very aggressive competitor species evolving. Uh, that's actually one of the more aggressive ones I've experienced thus far. So let's continue collecting as much as we can. Oh my God, there's so many of them. We may have to get something to defend ourselves, like a spike, um, or a pilus, as it's called. But we're so fast, I don't think it's a huge issue. My population is kind of being eaten, though. I feel a little bit bad for my brethren, who are being absolutely destroyed. They aren't very smart. 
Although we can change their behavior when we evolve. This is something I always forget to do, but it's in the game. So I think we should probably teach our uh, species how to survive. That'd probably be smart. I can tell them to, you know, run from threats if I can evolve, um, which requires me to serve. Oh my god, there are so many of these enemies. Okay. So let's go into the editor and go to the behavior. So we can make them peaceful or aggressive. We are not going to survive if we're being aggressive because we have no, we have no ability. Uh, we have cautious and opportunistic. Uh, we're going to be cautious and we're going to be fearful and active. Because we're fast, we aren't good at fighting. Focused, we'll go over. We'll start pray over greater distances. Ah, uh, we want to be responsive. Okay, so I've kind of weighted our species. I'll also name it Spook is. Uh, Spook Vuporium. There we go. Brilliant. Very good name. Name must conform to binomial naming system. Fine. There you go. Happy now. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can just get a little bit more ATP production. And technically, next next uh, evolution, we'll be able to get a nucleus now because we're generating enough energy to support it. Uh, we still have to be careful because now we're slower again. But look, our changes have actually went into effect. You can see that our uh, fellow species is uh, fleeing the attackers, uh, which is actually leading to their survival. So. I think that the whole the whole behavior thing is very important if you want your you know people not to die. All right, so let's go ahead and get a nucleus. I think oh we can afford it. Yes. Okay, so getting a nucleus is a huge huge benefit to our species. It's going to ensure that we can get so many cool things in the future. Now the most important if we want to be a multicellular organism is going to get, be getting a signaling agent and so that we can talk to our other cells and then getting a binding agent so we can connect to those cells. So let's go ahead. We're going to burn through glucose like no tomorrow now. So we have to be super, super careful about how we are uh, getting resources or we will die. We can also eat other cells because we just got a lot bigger. Getting bigger also means we're slower though. This is, these are like our old versions of ourselves here. You can see they're too fast though. Um, we're gonna have trouble eating anyone because we are now kind of slow and we may die now because uh, I don't see any way to get out of this one. There's a lot of friends. Okay, maybe I can eat this guy. Come on. Uh, when I don't have any energy, I can't eat. Oh no, my membrane is too broken. I'm gonna die. Whoops. Poof. Dead. I have been deaded. And I've been eaten by one of my... Oh wow. They ate the corpse of their fallen brother. That's kind of messed up. We need more speed if we want to eat other cells. And we definitely uh, need better ways to get glucose if we want to not die. But we'll do the best we can. I mean, eating other cells is a legitimate method, and it works pretty well. Like, I just ate that dude. It's just we're kind of slow. Um, oh, and we're eating that dude, too. We're just going to eat all of them. Come over here. I'm going to eat you. Come over here. Yep. Mm. Oh, I can only eat two at once. Crazy. So we're just ingesting these other cells, which is giving us a ton of energy, a ton of resources. Um, being predatory is definitely a viable strategy other than just floating around and collecting stuff. I didn't really focus on that, but maybe I should have. It also helps that the other cells that are evolving alongside us have no defenses. Like these guys are literally just blobs 
Come over here, blob. I want to eat you. I want to eat you. Yes. Consume. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get a binding agent. Which I'm going to stick on the very tip of us to make it easy. And then we can get a signaling agent, which I'll just stick next to it. Now what this is going to do is it's going to make it so that we can connect to other cells and become a proper multicellular organism. So you can see I have a friend here. If I hit B, I can go into binding mode. And then if I can catch up to him, this is the... Oh, wait, no, I can tell him to stay. I can say, move to me. And now these guys are following me because I have commanded them to. So I can build a little army here. And not even a little army, this is quite a few friends. I can go into binding mode, and now we can bind together. Look at the amount of cells that we have stuck together now. We're a big old blob of cells. Now this is awesome. You can control and move around a bunch of your species. You can have them come over to you. Only issue being that now you have to feed and, you know, control a whole lot more, which is a little bit more challenging. But at the same time, look at the benefits we're getting. Look at the amount of resources we can store on the bottom there. I mean, we're burning through a ton of energy, but at the same time, if we want to eat other cells, we have the ability to kind of mop up the entire area. There's so many of us. And that guy just ate him. We can keep going into binding mode and we can just keep growing. Now you can see over on the side that we actually have the option, uh, this button here, to become multicellular, to go into the next stage. So even though this, we can, you know, connect ourselves together, we aren't properly multicellular yet. We aren't actually in the next stage. We are just building a massive army that are kind of stuck together. We don't really act as one organism because I can still split off, right? Look at this, though. Look at this go. We have so much glucose available to us. And we're going to eat all of these guys. We're just like a moving vacuum cleaner at this point. I can kind of spin around. I'm kind of building a tail with my fellow, with my fellow cells. No, you can control literally all of them. And if I wanted to, I could actually tell them all to run away and I could actually fire them out like projectiles. Um, this can be used in really cool ways. Uh, you can basically build your own tiny little plant at this point. So with that being said, I had issues going into the proper multicellular stage last time. It kind of just threw me back into single cell stage, so I'm a kind, tiny bit afraid to continue. But as you can see, this is actually beginning to lag. Uh, we've got a lot of cells here, so let's go ahead and go onto the multicellular stage and see what happens. Gives us this little warning, you know, continue to prototypes because this is all prototype stuff now. And you can see as we, uh, how we grew and made it through and we can see the, you know, the maps we can go to. I didn't actually show this before. This is the maps of where you can go. We've got our editor and then we have the specific cells we can use. Now we have the stem cell, which is kind of like the root cell that we have but we can also create new kinds of cells. And as you can see here, I can actually put multiple of these cells together like this to make a multicellular dude. I'm gonna put an ER on the end. I'm renaming us because we're even more. <laughs> All right, so let's see if this actually works this time. If I hit confirm, will it put me in here as five? Or is it going to just cause our guys to to group together like that? Maybe that's what it means? Because now there's just one of me. No, look, they are. They're grouping together like that. Is that what it means? Or is that supposed to be me? That five right there. I'm really not sure what's... Oh my god, no, look. Look, they're automatically assembling themselves. Okay, that is so much cooler. That is so much cooler than what I originally thought would happen. 
I understand now. Only issue is we're dying. <laughs> but it looks like our cells are actually going to automatically try to connect to each other and form these multicellular. Now there's three of us. Although we're dying. So that's a slight problem, the whole dying thing. <laughs> okay, um, that's crazy. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like how that works. I'm pretty sure now that we're at the multicellular stage, uh, when we hit a certain point, we will automatically grow another cell off of us instead of doing that one at a time evolution thing. But we will see. We're going to see what happens when we get some resources. Um, I thought it was the cells connecting together, but no. No, it's not the cells connecting together. It's that when we grow, we grow another cell off of us. Oh man, we're gonna die again. We're so close to being able to evolve though. We're so close. I wonder if we just find one little cloud. Here we go, there's hydrogen sulfide. That'll give us some energy because it'll allow us to make glucose. But are we gonna make it in time? Oh, all the other cells are eating it all. Oh, we're gonna be able to evolve any second now. Come on. Come on. Come on, give me the evolve button. Yes! Okay. Okay, we can we can fix our cell now. Um So I can duplicate this type or I can modify it. I am going to I'm going to modify us because I don't think that we are well suited. Oh, oh no, we can't even use Oh, we can't even use chloroplasts because we are actually so, so far under the water, there's no light for us to use. Ah, we could improve our digestion efficiency. Um, what I'm thinking though is our best bet is probably to be able to use uh, iron. So I'm going to grab some rust assigned. And now everything's gotten cheaper on here, which is nice. So we can do a little bit more. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get two rust assigned in just so that we can make uh, energy with it. And then I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, we don't really have enough. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. I've. I haven't thought very well about this. Um, we could get a more efficient way to use hydrogen sulfide. Okay, more efficient way to use hydrogen sulfide. ATP production too low though. Okay, so we can get a mitochondrion for more ATP production. We can get two mitochondrions and then we can get two chemoplasts. It's just we're so slow now. Honestly, speed may be the thing we really need at this point to get more resources. I'm going to take a gamble. I'm going to go ahead and get us more flagella so that we can go faster. There we go. I'm going to make us speedier because I think that that is going to be uh, the biggest factor in our survival at this point. We'll stick with the six. Hopefully we're a lot faster now. We're gonna die, unfortunately. I don't think there's any way we survive after that. But now we get to see if this added speed comes in handy. Okay, we're much faster now. You see, our entire thing was kind of based off of speed and then we got too slow, which destroyed our strategy. We also have it set so that people follow us, which is not a very... Uh, I'm going to tell them to flee. I don't want them stealing my resources, so get out of here. <laughs> Any cell, just go away. Any time we can buy is time that we get closer to evolving. And we split again. Okay, there's some hydrogen sulfide over here. I just, we, we really need glucose. Hydrogen sulfide does decrease the rate at which we're losing glucose, but without glucose itself, we're still going to continue to die.
Come on, phosphates, more hydrogen sulfide. Why is the game giving me no glucose? It hates me. Oh, there we go. I think I see some. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. This is it. This is it. This is our last chance. I think, I think the game just threw us a bone. I think we're gonna be able to evolve. We're gonna have to be really careful with how we evolve so that we don't keep running into these same issues. Um, brilliant. We're about a little bit past halfway to evolving. A little bit past halfway to evolving, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Glucose is still really low. I mean, it's obviously not at zero. We're so close. So if I just stop moving, it definitely uses less energy if I don't move. But if I don't move, then there's no way I'll... Ah, uh, shoot. And we're dying. Is there a cheat menu? <laughs> I wonder if there's a cheat menu so that we can fix this. <laughs> it's actually quite a challenge, but I have an idea. I have an idea for how we can do this and get macroscopic. A uh, little bit, a little bit cheaty method. I mean, but we're already just straight up cheating at this point, so who cares? My idea is to make a cell that is literally just a single piece of a. Uh, membrane and to use that because it'll have just such a so here's the plan ready remove all of our cells and then we create a new type we're gonna call it egg because i like the word egg and we're gonna modify egg and what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete everything <laughs> Why can't I? Oh, it needs to keep a binding agent, apparently. And it needs to keep the nucleus. Uh oh. See, that's not good. I was really hoping that I'd be able to do more. Uh oh. Okay, but it uses way. ATP production too low. Ah! Darn it. Okay, I mean, this is heavily simplified, but we haven't really, uh... We haven't reduced its usage that much. I was really hoping to seriously reduce its usage. Um... I can't even add... Okay, we're back to being a single cell, which means that it should be much easier to survive at least. Um, and the rate at which we evolve, oh god. We still use that glucose pretty quickly. Oh no, the game crashed! <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I guess we end it there then. I mean, multicellular stage, awesome. Good job, Thrive Team. Brilliant. No, no complaints there. I'll see you all next time. Uh, it really do be like that sometimes.